Hi, my name is Tara Martin. I was born on Salt Spring Island and I'm a conservation scientist. I returned to Salt Spring around four years ago um, after living overseas for many years uh, to start a family. I understand that some folks in our community are frustrated with our current form of governance, but I want to urge us to work together to improve our current governance structure, not abandon it. Incorporation is risky economically, it's risky ecologically, and it risks the very fabric which makes our community unique. Here's why. First, economically, incorporation is going to cost islanders significantly more for the same level of services that we currently enjoy. So if we examine roads, for example, on Salt Spring, we have around 275 kilometers of roads and a, and a population base of around 10,500 people. If we compare that to Victoria, they have around 260 kilometers of roads with a population of 85,000. So there's a significantly greater population to support that road network. Our community is too small to absorb those costs. In the, if you look at the road condition assessment that was part of the uh, incorporation study, they estimate that it'll cost us between $60 and $200 as increase in our property taxes alone just to cover those road costs. So the big question is, what is the motivation to incorporate? Why go there if it's going to cost us more money? The answer is, there is huge, huge sums of money to be made by land development on this island. So becoming a municipality is all about land use zoning. The province would like us to go down this route because it shifts the economic burden from the province to us. The big winners in terms of going down a municipality route is not the community. We will not have better services, but it'll be a few who benefit from development. So the second point I want to make is around how incorporation, becoming a municipality, is not good for our environment. More development, more subdivision means loss of natural ecosystems, loss of our forests, loss of biodiversity in this region. This region is classified as the coastal Douglas fir bioclimatic zone. So all of the province is divided up in these climatic zones and these biological zones and together they deform these distinct units. Our unit, this coastal Douglas fir bioclimatic zone, is the most threatened unit in the entire province. Over 60 percent of this zone has already been cleared. If we become a municipality, the pressure to develop will be even greater. And so that puts an even greater risk of losing more of this unique ecosystem. Salt Spring is part of this archipelago of 200 plus islands. Some are large, some are very small, but we're connected. The plants, the animals, the people are connected, moving back and forth. What we do on Salt Spring influences the whole rest of this region. The last point I want to make is around our social and cultural identity on this island. One of the things that motivated me to return to Salt Spring after living overseas for such a long time was its incredible community of people and its extraordinary services and the fact that it was not a city suburb. This was an ideal place to come home to and raise a family. I want us to work together to make our current form of governance better, not risk throwing away, throwing that away for the benefit of few people. Let's create a form of governance, let's support a form of governance that deals with local issues, but is also connected to the bigger picture, to the other islands and to the bigger things that are going on in this world. That's actually what the Islands Trust does. And that's what we need to support making it better, not abandon it.